could it be Brown? Working against Jabari Smith and wins that battle to start this one. The first basket goes to Missouri. Outstanding energy inside for Missouri right now. With them starting five, Johnson, Jasper, Flanagan, Smith, and Kessler. And there is Kessler right on cue. Will always be better than your team. It's worked well for the Auburn Tigers this year. inside to Javon Pickett. Here goes Coleman back the other way. Pickett left wide open. Got it. A.D. Johnson with another steal. He's third in the conference in that department. Auburn tried to finish here. Flanagan had a block by Pickett. It'll belong to. But so far, they have struggled out of the gates. Missouri been very active on both ends of the floor. And another three on the way. This one buried by Coleman. Anytime you have the extension of the off arm, you're going to get that offensive foul called against you. Kessler for the jam. Kobe Brown gets it inside. They'll swing it around. Ronnie DeGray. Beautiful. the shot clock buzzer. You know, Dave, anytime you have the ability to put the... The uh, jury taking advantage of the mismatches. You saw that in Kentucky, taking advantage of all the smaller guards at times. Corner three, nothing but that. Those are the 50-50 balls that you have to get all night long if you want to pull this upset off for Missouri. Blocked. Wendell Green buries a three. Pickett trying to post up the smaller Green. There's Kessler with another block. That's number two tonight. As he gets a piece of that to Gray shot. Boy, I haven't seen Jabari Smith get going yet. Turnaround, no good. Second chance opportunity. And Kobe Brown got a piece of that basketball. Here's Pickett the other way. Little floater in the lane. Nice. Too much length on the interior. I don't really think Missouri has the ability to match that when Auburn goes inside. The problem is Auburn's been turning it over and not taking it to the basket. Jabari Smith over two, still looking for his first basket. Katie Johnson will fire and connect. Whoa, what a tough shot over Amari Davis. He is needed the most. That's when he wants the ball. He wants the action. This is a rhythm dribble, dribble here. He's got six tonight. Foul on Jasper a moment ago was his first. Here's Pickett running into trouble. Taken away by KD. If you're Missouri here, you got to stay solid on your defensive end. The defense is connected to the offense. It's allowed them to get out and score baskets. Their most tenacious on-ball defender out there just causing havoc at the point of that defense right now. Look at him move his feet. But yet Missouri wins the battle as Amari Davis slices through the lane. Keep switching on. <laughs> it gets tough on you at the top sometimes. KD Johnson doing what he does best. And so the SEC, one of the best defensive leagues in the nation outside the Big 12 and the Big East, uh, they're going to expose that. That's why I think it's great that guys like Jabari Smith Jr., they come to college. Pick it, tied up. Shot clock down to two. And that'll be a shot clock violation. The Tigers get the stop. J.D. Johnson averaging 13 a game. Had 10 in the first half. Jasper. Pull up three. Kobe Brown comes out of there with it. Kobe. Just two points tonight. A couple more. About his size at 6'8", 250. The junior out of Huntsville, Alabama. Pick at the rebound. Blocked by Flanagan. Kessler to Flanagan. Kessler spins. And as I say that, KD throws it away. Last year, a very tough and physical team, similar to the tough and physical team that Missouri is tonight. Allen swatted out of there. Cambridge had his shot blocked. Jabari Smith launches the three. It'll belong to Missouri. And that's the way that Missouri's been playing tonight. 
What good defense from Amari Davis. Trying to get it to pick it and does so. Flanagan getting his basketball feet under him after that Achilles surgery in the offseason. Wendell Green step back off the front of the rim. Good work by Cambridge underneath. They actually were 11 of 24 from behind the three-point line in that Alabama game, which almost allowed them to win at Coleman Coliseum. Woo! That's how you come out of a timeout. Jabari Smith takes it to Kobe Brown. It'll belong to the... Auburn Tigers with 13 on the shot clock to get to March. Pickett. Nice. 14 now for Javon Pickett. Up ahead it comes to Gordon. He throws it in off the backboard. Wendell Green now. A little three on one. Alley in. Oh! Can't get it to go. Kessler there for the putback. Tar Heels struggling this year. Meanwhile, Auburn sits here with the number one ranking right next to their name, and he's a big part of it. Jabari Smith rips the net. Kobe Brown. Shot clock at 10. Pull up jumper. Got okay. it. Alley oop to Kessler. Bad boy Brown. Both teams. Not willing to quit. We got us a good one. Elevation on the interior for the Auburn Tigers on that particular play. Auburn by three. High off the window. 95 seconds to play. KD Johnson, couple crossovers. Trying to find a little bit of room. Goes strong to the basket. What a shot by KD Johnson. Legs, Jabari Smith has the arms, but there is no doubt who is the heart of this Auburn basketball team. Every single time they need a big basket. Working right into a couple of big boys will kick it out. There's a turnover. Auburn has it. Flanagan will hand it off to KD Johnson. KD Johnson. There it Up is. and under. He's just taking it over the last minutes. Evident that it has been the last few years. Pick it wide open. Three guns. What an answer by Missouri. Three on the shot clock. KD trying to find a little bit of room. Gets it off at the horn. Won't go. Kessler. That won't drop. One second. Ball game. Auburn wins it. Oh my goodness. What a finish. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.